a Fury and Wilder three. I like Fury, you know. I I do like Fury, you know. I think for his size, he he has tremendous boxing ability, and he's very agile, you know, for his size. But man, Wilder, you know, he's a uh, called the Bronze Bomber for a reason. Uh, he has that power that can change, you know, the fight at any given moment, and um, I feel, you know, like that that's what's most dangerous. You know, we we seen him in fights, you know, where it looked like he was losing, then out of nowhere he lands that right hand, and boom, like they're out. What's going on, Ron, Ohio? Moving to 147, you know, just just like I am at 140, you know, um, of course I would like the big names, you know, right away. But uh, of course, you know, we know, you know, like like well, I'm gonna have to move up, you know. So whenever you know I do decide to move to 147, we'll uh, you know we'll take a fight by fight, you know, try to move 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 up in the ranks, you know, as quick as we can. But um, you know, not rushing anything. I mean, um, I'll be 25 in a couple of weeks, you know, I'm still pretty young. So I mean, uh, there there ain't no rush, you know. This this is all I do. Lazaro, yeah, man, uh, still training, you know, like, um, been mentioning, you know, trying to stay as busy as possible, uh, you know, it, it, it has been a little difficult, but, um, I mean, it's, it, it's been possible, like, we have a bag here in, uh, our garage, my dad's still been, uh, been still on me and my sister, you know, doing mitts and everything, so, it's all been good. Teofimo Loma, uh, that's a hard one too, man, Teofimo is another one of those fighters that can change the fight at any time. Uh, you know, going into that, that Kami fight, um, I thought Kami was going to give him, you know, a, a challenge, actually, you know. I thought it was going to really, you know, make, you know, make um, Teofimo, you know, show a lot of his boxing ability. But, I mean, his ex explosiveness, you know, just took over right away. And everybody saw how fast, you know, that fight ended. And um, I think that would be very similar with the fight with Lomachenko. Uh, you know, Lomachenko is a very hard fighter to hit. He's a very... Uh, He's a master, you know, with his with his range, with the uh, with just picking his shots, you know, being patient. Uh, so you know, that's a that's a fight that's that's hard to say, you know, what the outcome would be. Eating tacos, man. I'm just trying to stay away from the tacos. The, the only time I ever slip up, maybe here and there, is some breakfast tacos. Because uh, out there in the bay, that's one thing that that is not out there that I constantly miss, man. It, if you've never been to San Antonio or in Texas and had breakfast tacos, then I suggest at some point, you know, you, you make it out here and try them. Breakfast tacos will change your life or your weight. Peter, Bill, Rick, uh, man, I've been trying to stay, you know, on top of my weight as much as I can. Right now, I'm walking around, you know, 155, 156. Um, after the fight, you know, it took a, a good month off, you know, traveled a little bit, you know, with the homies, went to New York, Cali, kind of all over the place. I hit like the mid 160s uh, when I finally stepped on the scale and I was like, man, I was like, I cannot be getting up this high. So, you know, right away I started training, you know, getting back into it. Um, I was already in camp, you know, when this whole quarantine stuff happened, we we're getting ready, you know, for the early May. And um, I mean, so I came back home, you know, in shape and I've been just trying to stay as good as in shape as I could, as I can. Larry, man, uh, I've been pushing for a fight in San Antonio. Uh, I was promised one here, and um, it was looking like like the next one was gonna be. But um, I mean, of course, you know, everything happens. You know, uh, there's a lot of stuff that you know I can't control. And um, but I mean, of course, I'm just staying ready. You know, so as soon as I get the word, you know, that boxing you know, is gonna get going again, you know, we're looking you know, to uh, to be right back in that ring. So John Carrasco. Sergio the exporter or black flag man I, uh, I probably had to go towards the exporter man um, they had more of an impact on me I guess uh, I was more into them and um, I prefer U USA punk rock but man um, a lot of the bands you know they started in the UK and um, you know like the classics you know like the Ramones you know the Sex Pistols and everything um, you know, so I mean, I got love, you know, for all the genres of punk. Uh, those are one of my favorite genres. Everybody, uh, I can't even say your name. Piotr Powell, Canelo Shafai Andrade. I agree. Uh, you know, Andrade, you know, someone who's always out there um, at snack, you know, with, uh, with the rest of us. And, um, I mean, you know, he's someone who's very talented, you know, who's very, uh, avoided, you know, in his division. 
And um, I feel like Andrade would give most of the people in his division, you know, a lot of problems. The fight with uh, Omkri Dog Man, it was uh, it was just as hard as we expected, you know. Going into that fight, you know, that's what when people were asking me about uh, if I was expecting a knockout or anything. Um, I would I would tell them no, you know. There's a reason why Akhmadov got that um, got the opportunity at such an early point in his career, and it's because of what he has, you know, accomplished. You know, uh, even in the amateurs, you know, he had a great pedigree, had a great game plan going going into that fight, and uh, you know, I mean, you know, hats off, you know, to Akhmadov, you know, um, you know, he has my, my respect, you know, for putting that, that kind of fight with me. And you know, uh, and just me, you know, being able to you know share you know twelve rounds with him, you know, I mean, it was a it was a great fight. I loved it. My team and my again my family, my girlfriend, you know, my sisters, they hated that fight. You know, to this day, you know, they still you know if it's on, they they don't want to watch it. At least uh, uh, I've been talking about it. You know, um, uh, you know when I started the Instagram live a couple a couple minutes ago, but um, yeah, I mean, uh, eventually one forty seven is gonna be the move. You know, but as of right now, you know, my focus is on um. Uh, the super lightweight division, you know, I'm gonna try to stay here as long as I can, you know, without you know draining myself. Shayla, uh, thank you. Uh, that's a, that's a great compliment. You know, I uh, um, I feel I've carried my my weight, uh, you know, into the you know, to the these higher weight classes you know, tremendously. You know, most people don't know I actually turned pro at 124. What is that? Like super super banner weight. I don't know, but it was really light. But I've been able to carry my power, you know, um, continue stopping my opponents, you know, as I've been going up. Hi, man. How's it going, man? Uh, I'm from the, the southwest side of San Antonio. Uh, I run into a lot of people, you know, I, I don't remember, but um, I mean, I'm sure, you know, um, if, it, if, if I saw your face again, man, I, I will, I'll remember. Marquise, a uh, shout out to Boxing Antics. Uh, appreciate y'all, man, for supporting me. Uh, Marcus, uh, right now, man, I mean, shoot, uh, it's been hot lately, don't get me wrong, but today and yesterday, they've been beautiful days. Uh, like I said, man, I'm here with my little sisters, uh, my two little sisters, and uh, they're never outside, but, you know, for some reason, they're, they're right here, you know, chilling with me for once. Here goes one of them, and here goes the other. <laughs> Very shy, but whatever. Uh, Christopher, uh, I feel like boxing, man, you know, it's just as... Uh, I feel like it's just as popular, you know, but, you know, as far as, you know, ask, asking just casuals and everything, um, a lot of people, you know, they just want to see some people, you know, get fucked up. And, you know, that's the easy, easiest way to say it. You know, a lot of people don't appreciate, you know, the art of boxing, you know, and um, I mean, I feel like that's the reason why there's not a lot of uh, publicity, you know, with, with, um, with boxing as there should be, you know, uh, I feel like that's a big problem here, you know, even in my own city, you know, which is why, you know, I try to do as much as I can, you know, to bring that, uh, you know, that, that boxing scene here in San Antonio, you know, all of us here in San Antonio, I mean, you know, we have a gang of fighters, you know, me, Hector Tanahara, you know, Joshua Franco, Ben Rodriguez, uh, you know, all of us, man, you know, uh, we're always, you know, doing what we can, you know, then, you know, we have, you know, some very close, you know, like almost like brothers of mine, uh, Henry Edendondo, you know, the nickname World Star. Uh, you know, like Santos a hotbed for boxing, you know, it's just uh, a lot of people just haven't, you know, really given it the time or they haven't, you know, they haven't brought enough fights here. But I mean, the fights that have happened here, I mean, they, they've been huge. 